So welcome back to my channel, guys. Um, first of all, I wanted to thank you for the for the few clicks and the likes I got for my last three videos. My first three videos, actually. Um, I also got some comments in the comment section, which I always like, and I tried to answer the questions if there are any as fast as possible. And um, yeah, so if you have any questions, just post them down there. Doesn't have to be video related. Makes sense most of the time, but if there's something special you want to know, maybe it gives me a video idea. So uh, today's topic, as you probably saw in the in the video description or in the video name, is um, why social media is so important as a colorist or why you should use it as a colorist. Um, when I started out, I didn't actually post my work anywhere. Um, I just uh, was lucky enough to get some jobs through the mentor I had. And uh, so I think the first half year I didn't post anything. Um, after that, I started to post my work on Instagram, which is also the, the most important social media how do you call it social media community or social media app that there is as a colorist i would say um besides instagram i also used facebook and i think i never used twitter and i never used anything else i think so on facebook um i just had most of the people I've been working with uh, since my producer years or since my studies. Um, so I don't know if that was anything that helped me out. But one thing definitely helped me out and that was Instagram. So um, I'm sure you've seen how people do it on Instagram when they're a colorist or anything else related to, to film or filmmakers. Um, but as a colorist, you can definitely create a nice so uh, uh, Instagram grid, uh, uh, a still grid. There's several ways to do it. You can uh, do it project wise. You know, you just do one post for one project with several images, or you do three of them with three images split up in one post. Just uh, do whatever you like and what you think is uh, nice. Uh, I actually switched my 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 style from time to time. I'll probably redo my whole Instagram soon. So thing is, I always try to. Uh, it has to be uh, the the ROI, the return of investment. In this case, time investment is important to me. So. If I spend a lot of time, you know, doing these posts and working in Photoshop and putting all these stills together, it's, you know, it takes a lot of time. So I want to, I want to um, make that easier for myself and, and, and it still has to be beautiful. So maybe you want to take a look at my Instagram for that or any other colorist you like, and then you can, uh, you know, use that style or I don't know. So, um, my Instagram definitely helped me out finding jobs. Um, I've had a lot of uh, grading requests through that app. A lot of them, I would say. It's almost like 60-40%. So 60% didn't go anywhere because people were shocked um, how expensive a colorist is, you know, with all this equipment we have to use. <laughs> But but I got some decent jobs out of it. And that's, I mean, if you ha have one job by posting images quickly from time to time, it's already worth it. Um, like I said, Facebook didn't help me out at all. I think it was more of like, hey, mom, see what I did the last week. <laughs> um, but do an Instagram. So the Instagram is, I would say, the... If you don't have a website, it's a great way to show your uh, portfolio. And the uh, reason why I said that I want to redo my Instagram is that I have a lot of older work that I'm not so proud of on there. 
and um, yeah, just show your best work there, even if you don't have that many projects under your belt. Um, and the greatest, the next best thing to not uh, to to a website if you don't have it. And if you have a website, you can relink your uh, website there, and the people can take a look at what you what you've been doing. There are even some that post small clips or the whole clip. You know, you can uh, turn the, the the quality of of the videos down and just upload a I don't know an MP4 low res or I don't know how they do it. But uh, I I only use stills to keep it easy, and. Um, they can just visit my website then and there they find the, the full project. So I highly recommend doing that. Um, Twitter, I wouldn't say is valuable as a colorist. Maybe if you have a big network of people that use Twitter that work in the movie industry, maybe that way it's it could be valuable, but I don't use it. Something uh, which I want to take a look at in the future is, um, you know, there's this, you know, Xing, Zing, I think it's a German job network or a professional network. And most of you will know LinkedIn, but I don't really like those platforms. Maybe, maybe I'll try something with that, but we'll see in the future. So uh, in conclusion, if you don't have an Instagram, get one it may help you get new jobs or maybe you can even ask for you know somebody critiquing your your stills or i don't know something like that but for the most part it's for finding jobs and um like i said relink your your website to the um, in, in the instagram account and it will definitely help you find new jobs <clears throat> and even maybe communicate with other colorists and see the work they do. My whole feed just uh, consists of um, other colorists or other film professionals, and I can get some inspiration from that as well. So um, yeah, get an Instagram, maybe post your work sometimes on Facebook or what I did I almost forgot sometimes I post my website on different reddits and I just make a post tell the people hey I'm a colorist from Germany if you have a project you want uh, help with color wise then just send me a message I think I got two jobs from that and I only post it in the beginning of this year so maybe something uh, worth as well so hopefully uh, I could help you out with this video and if you have any questions, just post them in the, in the comments. And like I said, if you have any video requests, just tell me. And I will, if it's a good idea, I will probably do a video on that. So thank you very much. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.